Taurus, is somebody feeling a bit of pressure? Under pressure? My Taurus friends, hello, beautiful souls. Thank you guys for joining me here. And welcome to my table. If you are new here, my name is Zachary. It's nice to meet you. If you're returning, it's good to see you guys again. Pull up a chair. Please join me. So, Taurus, looking at your energy here in meditation prior, and then we'll get into oracle cards and tarot cards. The It was less of um, a distinct word, uh, more of a sound. I heard a hissing, like a leak of air. Um, the way that I took that was, well, I wasn't quite sure. Are we talking about like relieving some sort of pressure? Is somebody under pressure? Um, is there a need for breath work? That's kind of something breathing sounds is sort of what was coming through there. I initially connected it to, um, like Hebrew being a bit more of those breathy sounds like, um, uh, well, Elohim or or Yahweh, um, they are they are sound breath sounds, right? They're not necessarily like consonant sounds. Okay. Anyhow, so um, the next thing that I got on that was inundated. So this brings me a little bit more into the realm of somebody's feeling a bit of pressure. My Taurus friends. So um, I was instructed to pull oracle cards here on screen. So that's what I will do. Let's go ahead and move forward into your message, you guys. Um, working with the wild unknown archetypes here. What do we have for Taurus? And actually, very quickly, I'll just throw that out there. The channel did hit, hit a year, you guys, on the 6th of October. So thank you for all the well wishes and support and love along the way. To celebrate and to give a little bit back, I am also giving away a free reading. So if you're interested in entering to win a free reading there, I will have a link to the video in the description box here, but I'll also post at the end of this video down in this corner will be the link to that video. It's a real quick video just talking about my year and how to enter for the, the reading. Okay, so if you're interested in that Taurus, feel free to check it out. All right, so for Taurus here, please spirit. What's going on? Additional messages. I feel like... I'm... You want three? Okay. Okay. One more. For Taurus. So, so far here we've got the mystic and the lover. Hmm. The dead end. Okay. So, mystic. Lover. Lover. And the dead end. So, when we're coming back to looking at pressure, relieving some pressure. Um, I feel like somebody here is going through a bit of a growth spurt, um, spiritually speaking. And this, this does feel initiated, okay, by Taurus? No. It's your time. It's time. It is your time. It is time, Taurus. Okay, it is. It's your time for an upgrade here. Um, with the mystic coming through, this is where I'm getting this message of like spiritual upgrading or awakening. Um, and this makes sense too. Are you, feel are you feeling a bit of pressure in your head? I'm getting some pressure back here specifically and pressure up here near the third eye. Um, this does feel like growth pains. Okay. So this is going to be uncomfortable until you get through it, but there is also a message of, um, don't push it, okay? What I get by that, the vision is what's standing out here, the eyes here, third eye especially. I feel like for whoever this message is for, there's an experience of growth happening, new things happening to you as well, new dreams. Uh, maybe you're you're seeing things in a different way. You're seeing things behind things that you've never seen before. And uh, it's uncomfortable. And because of this discomfort, you may be reaching to um, to see or understand what's going on, which makes sense, right? Something is new or something's changed. It makes sense that you want to feel safe and know what's going on here. What I'm getting is that this pressure will be there until it's, it's not there. This isn't a permanent situation, but while things are shifting, what I'm getting is to kind of like go along for the ride, right? The lover coming through here, lover. Very much uh, the lover archetype. This could signify a new relationship, 
that love that we put into romantic relationships or friendships, that sort of thing. I'm actually getting the imagery more here with the swan kind of taking a, a ride in like the tunnel of love sort of thing. In the tunnel of love, it's a very slow moving ride. The intention of it is to have some time with your lover. The message that's coming through here for me is actually to enjoy or to find a way to enjoy at least a, a component of what's going on as you are growing here, Taurus. Because that point interest. So what comes through is like with a child um, in raising children. I know this from not experience, but from others around me that there will be a time where you'll want to go back, right? In these younger years or at any point that a, a child is growing up, there are some annoyances, there are frustrations, it's challenging to you, you're growing as the child's growing as well. And that can become overwhelming or over encompassing of the experience. You may get lost in the um, negative qualities of that and miss the positive qualities. When this child has grown, it's possible to come back and go, I really wish that we could go back to this point. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. Although it's uncomfortable, maybe even a little bit painful, there is a reminder here from spirit to enjoy this while it lasts because, um, and I'm interested to get into this here with the dead end, dead end coming next. Something is coming to an end. Something that uh, the way that you're used to doing something, the way that you're used to maybe tapping into your intuition or speaking to your spiritual team, God, source, etc. What I'm getting on this is with the dead end, where you're used to going access wise or to access, this will now become a dead end. And the point of that is it's not a punishment. It's like, um, mm, like upgrading uh, internet. Uh, those of us that are familiar with dial up <laughs> that move from using a phone line dial up to a coaxial cable to high speed internet. Th that's kind of what I'm getting here. This dead end, the way that you're used to maybe accessing information or experiencing things here right now or in the past was dial up. You can't still use that function because there's a whole, there's a whole different infrastructure that you are needing to utilize to access what's coming next. This is exciting, you guys. Okay, let's keep going here. Which, uh, any other... We'll get into the animal spirit oracle, wild unknown for Taurus, please. Major changes, Taurus making changes. I like it. I feel like the reason, <laughs> the reason this is um, maybe more uncomfortable, especially for you, Taurus, is this comfort component. Um, comfort is very, very important, right? This is not comfortable. So what I'm getting is, like I said, we're not pushing the third eye sight. We're not trying to figure things out. We're going along for the ride here and waiting to see what's coming next. And we'll get into the reading, see what's next. So Crow is what comes out here for you. Because, of course, I feel like you guys are ready to see what the Crow sees, to see what the Shaman sees. This is magical sight. Again, this upgrade, like I said, from dial up to, to um, high speed Internet. That's what this is symbolizing here. Yeah, someone's getting a major upgrade. I am getting this component of like dizziness, especially if somebody is experiencing dizziness. That seems to not be connected to anything else. Obviously, I'm not, you know, your medical professionals at all. Please. Uh, I'm not trying to intervene in that area in any way, but any sort of dizziness that seems out of the ordinary to you. Um, this is, this is this upgrade that's happening to your infrastructure. Okay. Let's grab, uh, I got, this is a new deck here, the familiar field Oracle. They're also animals, but, um, I like to blend them. So for Taurus, last message here for Taurus, please spirit. Before we get into the tarot, the lion, Ooh, strength, authority, and courage. I feel like this is an encouragement here for some of you. So when I say dizzy, um, to me, being dizzy is just about the worst thing that could happen. And I know that's not the normal experience for most people. 
Um, when I was three years old, I fell off a bunk bed, hit my head on a toy piano, spent a week and a half in a hospital. They didn't think I'd walk or talk. I have CPTSD surrounding the feeling of being dizzy. So that's kind of where um, that was coming up for me with this. Diz like, don't be afraid of this. Maybe you have a similar experience with um, sensations of like inertia or dizziness inside of you where they can be upsetting or uh, distressing. I don't feel like that's for everybody, but for those of you that that is connected to this message of courage and strength is coming, coming through. This is not the end. <laughs> okay. There's a dead end coming through here, but um, you're safe is what I'm getting. You're safe. Okay. Let's get into your tarot messages here. We'll do the black seed tarot to start for Taurus. This is a new deck as well. What do we have here for Taurus, please, spirit? And um, huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. Thank you for your love and support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there's a link in the description of this video. There's a join button next to the subscribe under this video as well. Feel free to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Knight of Wands falls out here. I feel like an opportunity to um, bring some intense creativity and energy back into your life. I have personal readings open and available if you guys are wanting some help with something a little more personal, as this is a general message. Feel free to check out my website in the description of this video, too. Okay, my Taurus friends. Taurus. <laughs> Two of Swords here at the bottom. So this is your hope, hopes and dreams, um, aspirations even. Making a decision, being at a crossroads, feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place. Um, I feel those of you that this message is for, is resonating with, you are already aware of this pressure. This to me is wanting, you hope to get out of this pressure. This is not comfortable. Feeling stuck between where you've been or what you're used to and not knowing how or not used to being able to access what's coming next. That sounds uncomfortable to me. That doesn't sound like comfort. Um, cool. So let's go. We'll do the curious travels tarot deck here next. What do we have here for Taurus, please spirit? The devil falls out. You get the devil. Yay. Some shadow work. Hey, there's the two of swords at <laughs> the split as well. And interesting, this one, um, I know you're a bull, but this one has a cow. Cow on there. Kind of your family, right? What do we have here for Taurus, please, spirit? This is a general message, like I was saying. You guys are hella smart. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which of these messages are for you, if they are. And if they're not, please leave them behind. Um, no need to leave me comments on how this didn't resonate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get into this. What do we have for Taurus? Check out any other placements in your chart as well, you guys. We do have every sign in our chart. So if you're looking for additional input or messages, feel free to check out the other signs. Three of Cups here at the bottom. So this is your fear aversion. Um, I do feel like there's a little bit of um, anxiety surrounding hanging out with others, maybe even going out into public at this at this time. I think with those of you that are going through this shift, this feels like a major thing. Um, I do very much get shaman energy, not qualifying that you are exactly shaman, but that energy is what's coming through here. Healers and shamans activation time okay um i feel like this is nerve-wracking for you to get together with others right now because of the shifts shifts that are happening it's uncomfortable if you don't know which way's up <laughs> okay so general here to start taurus wheel of fortune yes so this is um this is out of your hands activation time like i was saying uh healers and shamans we're at that we're at that time right uh, as everything is crumbling in many ways around us, there is a point where a rebound building will take place. It must take place. With the Wheel of Fortune coming through, this is telling me that, like, like I said, now's the time. 
Now's the time. Wheel's turning. These actions are out of your control, but they're for the betterment of you and everyone around you as well. Be not afraid of this process. Your responsibility right now is to determine how you're going to respond to this movement. I feel like somebody may be trying to adjust it or change change the direction of the wheel. This is uncomfortable. I'm not ready to do this. Taurus, you guys are super solid in your decision making. Some may say stubborn. I don't know. If there isn't an action or if there's an action that you don't want to take, it will not be taken, right? Unless God comes down and, and forces you to do that. This feels like, and I don't mean force, it's just um, this is a part of the design. This was a part of your blueprint is what I'm getting. Components of your access to higher experience and knowledge is what's being activated right now. So let's go for the ride. Okay. Um, Five of Pentacles comes in to clarify this. I think that this, well, this might be a part of, for those of you that may be struggling to go, go with the ride here, Five of Pentacles, this is um, feeling abandoned, feeling hopeless, out in the dark, out in the cold. This warmth, war this warmth, I feel like is um, what you're used to information wise access, like I was saying earlier your intuition in meditation. And what I what I mean by that is um cuz I've noticed this how do you, how do I describe that spirit? In in my own development of things, uh I'm still working with the same energies, my same spirit, guides, team, you know, ancestors, all of that. What I've noticed has shifted though as I've grown is it's almost like the how do I describe that cuz it's not really a like the way that the energy is coming in, the energy signature is the same, but there's something a little bit different about it, like a little bit more rich to the voice or the energy that's coming through. I'm really trying to describe this, you guys. I'm having a hard time. But that's what it, that's what you guys are, are going through here. So let's say there's one guide in particular you're very familiar with working with. Through this upgrade, that voice or that energy as it comes in may seem... Um, not totally unfamiliar to you, but like something feels different. Something feels off about this message. Maybe you're used to receiving messages more from this side and it switches to this side or you see what I'm saying? Um, being able to perceive those extra layers of energy are, are coming from relaxing here, stepping away from your access point to information in the past and allowing the inner sight to grow without force naturally, because this is going to take you to a point where you'll be able to access everything the same. I know somebody knows what I'm talking about here. Okay. Feel free to, uh, to, val <laughs> to validate that, or if you're experiencing this yourself, but you guys are moving, um, you're moving back up into the sky here. We've got like a broken pentacle. This I feel like is your communication piece. This used to work. What's going on here? It's still, it's still, um, you're still getting information. These hands coming down here are your guides, your spiritual team, lifting you up into a place where you feel supported. All you need to do is look up. Okay, let's move forward here. <laughs> So good stuff coming through for you guys. The High Priestess, of course, yes. Yes. So this enlightenment, you guys, this is the subconscious. These are deeper truths, secrets even. <laughs> um, being in your good stuff here, exactly what I'm talking about. You guys are going through this upgrade. The High Priestess is coming into your cognizance or subcognizance, <laughs> coming through your subcognizance and inviting you to take a trip on the river here of knowledge. This safe passage that you're receiving on the river here too, because we can, I mean, we can try to access that river at any time. Um, I feel like without her being willing to share this knowledge, there's always a chance of slipping into insanity. <laughs> there's a lot, all the information there in the river, right? So you're being guided to exactly where you need to go get to the right spot in this river, get across the river, however you want to look at that, to access greater knowledge through this upgrade. 
20, exactly on the timer there. Um, Seven of Wands comes through here to clarify the High Priestess. So Seven of Wands is um, this action of getting centered here too. So I, I feel like for those of you that this message is for going through this upgrade here, I'd wager that things have felt a bit um, fractured or fragmented recently you even your in your own experience just going um something just feels weird or off i'm i'm not used to feeling this fragmented right um the reason that that's all feeling uncomfortable is because there are components of you that are falling away like i said maybe you're um a highly spiritual person already. You've gone through much of your life developing spiritually. This upgrade here is going to throw you off your center no matter how grounded you were before. And I feel like you will know this message is for you if, like I said, you've been feeling fragmented here recently. Like, I just can't get these pieces together. And the reason is some of those pieces need to go. So with the Seven of Wands coming through here, there is encouragement to hold hold your place here, hold your ground, protect what it is that you are building, which is you. To not let fear get out of hand here um, because things may be feeling uncomfortable. Okay, let's move forward. So what you don't see coming here or what's in the dark, Five of Cups. This this actually feels like someone um, in particular, wh whoever, I feel like there are varying degrees of this process because there are um, like severity, because there are varying degrees of how conscious each of you are in this process. I feel like if you're just starting your awakening process, um, starting a spiritual journey, maybe you're not as used to being in tune with things uh, like your own inner workings and what have you. This may not be as uncomfortable because you haven't really honed in yet. Those of you that have, this is really feeling uncomfortable. It feels like you've gotten to a point where um, there is this ownership even of self-mastery, of ascension. And ascension never ends. So um, I feel like part of this message is encouraging that just to remain flexible and open. That dance is never, ever going to stop. But this feels more like forsaken is what's coming to mind. Five of Cups is about disappointment or regret. Um, it feels like somebody is going, I've done all this work. I have shed all this, whatever. I've put time into meditate every single day. And I still, right now, I feel abandoned. Like my team stopped talking to me or or whatever. And it's not that they've stopped talking to you. Like I said, they're tuning in with a different frequency. So until your upgrade is finished here, messages may be a little bit more difficult to receive, or they may come through with different sensations. There's nothing that you're doing wrong here, okay? Whoever this part of the message is for, we're looking at these three cups that have spilled and we're focusing on the disappointment there. This energy can eat through everything in our life that is positive. So what you don't see coming here is, um, or what is in the dark is this experience of disappointment. Ah, okay, okay. Regardless of where you are here in this shift, grieve, grieve what was lost, okay? Grieve the change. That doesn't mean that the older version of yourself was a failure in any way. It's recognition and validation of your own experience. Those components of yourself that deserve that validation. I don't feel like that disappointment is attached to everybody. Um, this feels more like someone who's really experiencing this to an extreme degree. The encouragement here is to not get stuck on what may have shifted or changed, okay? Everything is always going to change. That was your first card here with the Wheel of Fortune. The King of Cups comes through here next. So tempering some emotional experience here. Compassion, sympathy for yourself. The grief compo component, you guys. Um, I guess I'll, stand, I'll step back on that too, regardless of the severity. 
give your, throw yourself a bone. <laughs> give yourself a break here. When a component of yourself shifts or dies, it's okay to grieve that. And I feel like actually it's important to grieve that. That doesn't mean taking, you know, six months to two and a half years to go through a full grieving process. Maybe it does mean that. Both are okay. My point is just... Um, Mm, the message that's coming through is a request to shift the focus from um, what is being lost or the discomfort, excuse me, the focus on the discomfort to shift that towards grief, okay? Processing grief in whatever was lost. That discomfort can be a part of grief, but if it's standing on its own alone and you're not aware that a grieving process is taking place or needs to take place, that's the shift that's being requested of you right now. Okay, Taurus, let's keep going here. What, um, your challenge, your challenge at this time. <laughs> King of Cups. Yes, okay. We just had King of, <laughs> King of Cups here and what you don't see coming. So this is the tricky part. Exactly what I was just saying there. It feels like you guys need to, I keep getting this like a mini funeral is what's coming through here. Um, it doesn't have to be literally like that, but I feel like the reason that's coming through in that way is an encouragement to do something physical to mark this moment in time, to mark this transition so that your physical experience, your brain, which are not you, can let go of this component that is shifting. The difficult part about this is the emotional part of it. For a lot of you, what I'm getting is um, I was just starting to feel safer. I was just starting to feel comfortable, that sort of thing. And I totally get that. Um, we do not grow through comfort, right? We didn't really come here to be comfortable. We didn't come here to not be comfortable. But neither comfort or discomfort are going to be a permanent state. So with both those King of Cups coming through and this being in your challenge, uh, this flexibility is, is standing out. A part of this, the bigger purpose of this is for you to have better access to higher realms, energies, more clear communication. Um, but for some of you, this feels like almost like a, it feels like a punishment, but it's not a punishment in any way. There's a request for some flexibility here, okay? And compassion towards yourself. Damn, all right. The tower comes through here as your next, <laughs> in the difficulty, in your challenge. Totally, you guys. So the upgrade, like I've been saying here, from the beginning with the dead end, this is really standing out here with the tower. So this tower coming down is the way that you were experiencing how you're wired previously. There was nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with you and operating in that way what i'm getting though is that is was coming to a close or is coming to a close like i said in the beginning you can't have high speed internet on dial up connection so um your infrastructure was needing to be blasted down and redone the whole house needed to be rewired you had knob and tube wiring <laughs> and you're being updated to something more more fire resistant right um, this is difficult. This is not an easy process for anybody. And I think especially for Taurus, y'all just want to be comfortable, right? I don't blame you. Um, so flexibility again, going with the flow, this dead end, once you start running up into that or feeling, noticing that access has been restricted in some way, um, frustration may grow. And this is where I'm seeing the King of Cups coming through here twice compassion for yourself, allowing yourself to go through a growth experience. Okay. All right. I'm going to pull, we'll do a blue angel oracle card here for Taurus. And then I'm going to move into uh, part two, you guys. If you would like to join me for that, I'll have links in the description of the video. If not, that's okay. That is okay. We're going to go into direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions in the extended. So what do we have here for Taurus, please, spirit? Ooh, this is my favorite card. 
I'm going to read this in the book here. Protection, and this is a perfect message, I feel like, um, 3003 on the timer for what we're talking about. Beyond the storm. So the storm is your tower, okay? Uh, storms will come and go. Every dark cloud will clear. Beyond every storm, there is a clear sky. The sun will shine once more, so look beyond the current situation. There is nothing to fear, for I, Archangel Michael, will protect you and keep you from harm. You are safe, like I said. Nothing to fear. You cannot avoid the current situation, so let it come and go. Both the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower, these are unavoidable energies. They is going to happen, okay? There is nothing you have done to create it. Sometimes storms just appear. Like I said, there's nothing that you guys did wrong. This is the perfect card here. <laughs> there's nothing that you guys did wrong. Uh, this is just a part of your growth. There is light within darkness. Look beyond the storm. There is already a clear blue sky in the distance. The sun shines even when we cannot see it. Trust that all is unfolding as it should. Within each moment there is love. Though it may not be obvious, love is always present. Perfect. That's a perfect way to end this, you guys. So no matter where you are on the scale of development, like I said, please lean into that. I, I tell myself that all the time, actually. Blue skies already exist. No matter what you're going through, especially this does feel a bit stormy. Um, Storm-wise, the message I'm getting here is to not take this personally, to allow yourself flexibility and compassion, to feel what you're feeling, growth pains, and grief, okay? All right. I love you, Taurus. I am going to move into the extended, like I said. If you want to join me there, links are in the description of the video here. I do have them for sale individually as well as for sale on the third tier of membership if you'd like access to all of them. Um, my website's in the description, like I said, if you're looking for personal readings. And if this reading did resonate with you guys, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support me in the growth of this channel, and I truly appreciate it. You are the reason why I do this. If you do feel this resonated with you and you feel called to donate to the channel as well, I have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description. To those who do support the channel in that way, thank you guys so, so much. I also could not do this without you. And from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Thank you so much. So Taurus, please take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all very, very soon. All right. Take care.